Welcome. In this presentation, <clears throat> we're going to walk through how customizations can be completed within Microsoft Dynamics NAV. In this scenario, let's look at the customer record. I'm going to open up the customer record for Canon Group. <clears throat> In a discussion with the Vice President of Sales, it's determined that a new field needs to be added to the customer record to track the regional breakdowns of the customers. So the exercise will be to add a new field to the customer record in NAV and then place it on the customer card here directly underneath the salesperson code field so that users can fill in the appropriate region for each customer record. I'm going to minimize my Dynamics NAV screen here and open up a development tool that's available with NAV. <clears throat> this tool is generally only available to the system administrator of NAV at your organization. With this tool called the Object Designer, we have visibility into all of the tables and structures of the data that make up your NAV data, such as vendors, items, sales orders, service orders, and so on. We also have a list of all of the reports. As I page down, you can see that there are over a thousand standard reports in the Dynamics NAV system. Data ports are objects that we use to import and export data from the system. This is used to convert data quickly as new NAV clients implement the system. Also to interact with other systems on an ongoing basis, such as loading a payroll journal entry from a payroll provider or sending item information out to a vendor or customer. And lastly, we have pages here. So pages are the actual screens that we're looking at in NAV. For example, the customer card that we were just looking at um, detailing the customer's information. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the customer record and I'm going to select design. What I want to do is insert a new field numbered 50,050 and we'll call this field region. I now can select the type of field I want to create, a date field, a decimal field, text for comments. I'm going to select option field because I want to provide the user with a list of options that they can select from. Let's select northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. You'll notice that I numbered this field 50,050. This is very important. Microsoft reserves all objects and fields from 50,000 to 60,000 for customer's use, for your use. So what you can do is add new tables, add new fields, add pages, add your own reports, and not lose the ability to upgrade to a future release. When the next release of NAV comes out, it's also released with a tool called the Upgrade Toolkit. What this allows us to do is merge your t custom fields and objects and reports and merge them directly into the latest release. The system was designed to make these changes without restricting you from taking future upgrades. I'm going to close this and save that field change. The last thing I need to do is add that to the customer card so that users can see this new field I added. I'm going to select right next to the customer, next to the salesperson code field, and I'm going to use my field menu to find this new region field that we just added. I'll double click on it and add this onto my field. I want this below salesperson code, so I'll just use my down arrow here to move that region field below salesperson code. Lastly, I'll save that change. Back in NAV, I get a message that someone changed the customer table. And that's okay. I can continue working in NAV, all of the users can continue working while these types of changes are made in the system. There's never a point in time where all users are required to get out of the system for maintenance. I double click on customers and I now see that for Canon Group I have this new field here called region. I also have the drop-down box with the options that we selected. 
let's put these customers into the south, let's put Canon Group into the southeast region and make that change. Let's also select Target and let's put them into the southeast region. This time I'll just type in the value and save it and, and it recognizes that. One of the benefits of adding custom, customer fields, custom fields is the ability to now run reports on those custom fields. So for example, if I want to run a customer shipment performance report, I can open the report and I have the ability to select filters. In this case, there's no filter option for this new custom field that we just added called region. However, on any report in the system that uses customer data, I can now add a new filter and select find from a list of all of the fields and here's my region field that we just added. And I can now filter this report based on these regions. So if I select the southeast region, I'll now get only data for customers in the southeast region. Lastly, I can select a, a date range. In this case, I'm going to use the entire year from January 1st through December 31st of 2011. Just to demonstrate that even though I just added this field now, I can now use this field for completing historical reporting on my customers. In NAV, I can preview to all reports to the screen. And you'll notice that if, I, if we look at the data on this report, I'm viewing customer Canon group because we put them into the southeast region. Next, I'll have target and then my report totals. So you'll notice that this report is totaled for only customers in the southeast region. As with all reports in NAV, I can save these reports to Excel spreadsheets. I can save them as uh, PDF files. And I can also do in-report searching. If I happen to be looking for a particular item number in this report, I, have, I can enter a number here and select Find, and it takes me to the next ins instance of that number. And I can continue finding transactions throughout the report until no more matches are found. So this video demonstrated adding a new field to a record inside NAV. Thank you.